Most of the videos I've posted have been about successes breeding fish, but today I'm going to talk about a recent failure I had. Um, one of the buckets that I was using to transport my fish from home to school this year overheated, killing all of my adult salosi and mollies. But I'm making this video to show you that the best response to a failure isn't to give up, it's to learn from it and move on. So the next time I transport fish, I'm going to make sure the buckets don't overheat, or if I think they're going to overheat, I won't transport those fish. I'll sell them or give them to someone else. But moving on from that, my 29-gallon tank now had a vacancy because I was going to put the fish that died in it. So now I have decided to set up an angelfish tank. I got six silver angels and six green quarries. Um, I've only kept angel fins. I've only kept angelfish one other time in my life, and I've never bred them. So I figured it'd be a good time to try a new species. Um, I also still have baby salosi and baby mollies, so I should be able to raise them up to adult size and keep the generations going, which is encouraging. So really just the overall point I wanted to make with this video is when you kill fish, don't get discouraged. It obviously sucks. You never want to kill an animal, but you didn't do it intentionally. And if you take measures to make sure it doesn't happen again, that's okay. Um, with, with the learning that you do from killing fish, you'll likely end up breeding far more fish than you ever kill. You just can't, can't give in to the disappointment. You have to, uh, you know, life is beautiful and death is part of it. <laughs> uh, as deep or corny as that may sound. Um, but these angelfish are pretty cool and I'm looking forward to seeing what I can do with them. Um, comment down below if you've had any recent failures, um, because no matter how many cool videos anyone posts on YouTube, they've definitely killed some fish along the way. Sorry for a bit of a downer of a video, guys, but, uh, one way that a lot of people kill fish that can be avoided is not acclimating them correctly. So if you want to know how I acclimated these angelfish, check out this video. Um, and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.